Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin remains hospitalized after being admitted to Walter Reed Army Medical Center last week. There was some secrecy surrounding the situation, and it's causing concerns in Washington. So here's a bit of a TikTok for you. Secretary Austin underwent a medical procedure on December 22nd, went home a day later, and then on January 1st, was readmitted to the ICU this time after experiencing what's being described as severe pain. A day later, January 2nd, he transferred some of his duties to the Deputy Secretary of Defense, that's Kathleen Hicks. But at this point, the White House had still not been uh, informed of his hospitalization. And in fact, President Biden didn't learn about the situation for two days additional from that day on January 4th. So the Pentagon's failure to disclose his hospitaliz hospitalization for what is days is raising some questions about transparency within parts of the Biden administration. CBS News senior White House correspondent Weijia Zhang joins us now. So Weijia, on those questions of transparency, how is the White House responding? So we just heard from the White House a short time ago. John Kirby says that there is a, quote, expectation for when something like this happens, that the cabinet secretary would alert the people who need to know, like the commander in chief, President Biden, that he was in the hospital. But the White House also issued a statement to say that the president respects the fact that Austin owned up to it, because Austin in his own statement said that he recognized the lack of transparency and he said that he would commit to do better. He also said that he respects the amazing job that Austin has done as defense secretary and how he has handled multiple crises over his time here, almost three years, and that the president looks forward uh, to having him back because he is still at Walter Reed recovering. We are told he is in good spirits, but that doesn't change the fact that there are a lot of questions about why he withheld information, about who else knew the information, and why the president did not know for three full days. Yeah, it's quite a curious situation, and I guess the worst case would be that there'd be an urgent military matter that would be escalated to the secretary. He'd be unable to answer. Maybe they call the wrong person first. Crucial seconds tick by before you finally can locate somebody who can answer your question for you. That is definitely a worry, so there could be investigations. Uh, what kind of investigations might we see over this? The White House says there will be a review akin to a hot wash, which after uh, certain situations means a real deep dive to try to piece together the timeline, to put all the characters in place, to answer um, not only why this happened, but how it can be prevented in the future. So there will be a review of what happened and perhaps a clarification, if not a change in procedure. Uh, but even though we are hearing all of these concerns about lack of transparency, uh, we have also learned that the president is not considering firing Austin and, as you just heard in that statement, is still uh, fully supportive of his secretary of defense, which uh, a lot of Republicans, especially on Capitol Hill, are taking issue with because they are calling for his resignation. And even some Democrats are saying that, you know, there has to be more accountability uh, because of this lack of transparency. Because, Tony, as you mentioned, when we talk about these scenarios and protocols, we are talking about preparing for the worst case scenario, not for a day to day where, you know, nothing could happen and everything's just fine. And so in that worst case, as you said, those critical seconds matter. And even though certain duties were transferred over to his deputy, she didn't know uh, for three days that he was in the hospital. And so there are still a lot of um, after actions that can be taken, which is what the White House says they are looking into. Weijia, a very fun fact that I can't let pass. A hot wash is the term <laughs> the Pentagon delivered to you. I just looked it up, actually. So a hot wash is a military term. Do you know this one, Elaine? I do, just from covering Washington. It yes. apparently refers to the hot uh, water soldiers use to wipe down residue off of their weapons after firing. Yeah. So, well, as you know, as a dad of, of little ones, Tony, it's that hot water is pretty magic. It's like a dry erase marker sometimes. It just washes away the stain. So. It's true. Yeah. yeah. You got to drag them into the shower sometimes and the hot wash is called for. So, yeah. Um, all right. Scheduling question for you, Ouija. The president has a campaign event this afternoon in South Carolina, but it's interesting. We have not seen any sort of official White House events involving President Biden so far this year. Do we have a sense of why that is? 
Well, you're right. It has been over a week since there has been any official event or even public remarks in the presidential capacity. But the White House would tell you that that doesn't mean he's not working um, in that official capacity. It's just that he hasn't had any official events. And I mean, you know, to be honest, we are very close to um, the official kickoff to the presidential election whenever uh, we know who the Republican nominee is going to be. And so from this point on, and perhaps even before this, every formal event is also a campaign event. It's difficult to blur the lines, because even if you have an official event on infrastructure, if you will, he is going to be injecting his campaign message about why that means he's doing better for the American people. Um, so we will closely monitor his schedule. But in fact, Elaine, we don't know exactly what he is doing for the rest of the week. The White House has not yet released that, so we'll be on top of it for you. All right, Weijia Jiang at the White House. Weijia, thank you. Sure.